All right, guys, we got the roller right here. I'm gonna go through some of the little changes and clearancing I had to do to make this conversion kit work. But for the most part, it basically just bolts in like Kyosho attended. This is the conversion kit that I used. And uh, I, I picked that up right from the Kyosho website. Some of the hobby shops really don't care it anymore because it is, it is a very old um, conversion kit. Um, I think this thing come out before there was an MP9E, so it's fairly old. But anyway, let's get right to it. All right, but this is pretty much the conversion kit on the car. Um, it goes together fairly well. It's, all, it's pretty much just a direct bolt-in like Kyosho attended, and that's pretty impressive you know, considering that, you know, it was never attended for the MP10 platforms. Um, but the only issue, the only fouling issue I had that prevented any kind of motion was right here. Um, it was hitting on the out drive and preventing it from turning. So I just kind of took that, took a Dremel tool with a sanding wheel and took that little edge off. So... But yeah, it has enough clearance now to where I don't think that's going to be an issue. It's fairly tight um, on the MP9 right there. So I think it, I actually have more clearance, you know, in this car than I did with the MP9. So it's not going to flex very much right there. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, sorry about the shaky cam, guys, but this is kind of, this is a challenge. Um... And right here, it was really, really close to the uh, the drive shaft. And I mean, it, it like I said, it is in the MP9. But I just took a sanding wheel and kind of clearance that a little bit. And like I said, it just it kind of made it. It's hard to pick it up in the camera, but it has plenty of room right there now. And it just kind of, you know. But you can see it was it was definitely tight. So I didn't want it to rub my drive shaft and then cause like. A little wear spot on the uh oh shoot. this is very shaky guys i'm sorry i didn't want to cause like a wear spot and like it would rust or whatever and the third issue for clearance um was right up here uh i just kind of you can kind of see it right there i probably should take a little bit more off on the inside right there but you know it's not going to flex right there and touch i don't think so but for the most part, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Everything else, everything else went together just fine. So, like I said, I've already ordered my electronics. Like I said, that'll be in the next video. Me um, putting the electronics and everything on. So, but all right, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope this helps someone out if they were interested in converting the MP10T into an electric car. Um, I couldn't find anything on it when I, you know, bought this kit to do that. And it was kind of scary. I was kind of like, man, they don't make a conversion kit. And like, if I can't make it work. But, you know, I was pretty sure I could because people have been, you know, converting nitro cars before there was brushless conversion. So, I was pretty confident that I could make it work. And I'm pretty confident that the Kyosho conversion kit would work. Or at least get me close. <laughs> but, anyway. Hope you guys will stick around because uh, I'm wanting or hoping to do... Um, a Nitro MP10T versus the MP10TE. That'd be kind of cool, like some on-track footage, which one's faster, all that good stuff. Um, so I hope you'll stick around and watch that and the few videos to come. For sure, the next one will be getting the uh, electronics and everything all hooked up. Maybe like a quick little running of it. But anyway, <sighs> appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe and uh, see you on the next one.